perfectly douchey. That sounded painful. How, how'd it didn't go? feel great. <laughs> but it was gone. I did too, but it's almost gone anyway. So I think we're in it. I think it's recording. I think we have audio and I think the lights are on. You think? I've been blind for years. Now you can see. Welcome to 2021. We're the Bourbon Junkies. Why are you so close to me? I'm Dan. I'm Sean. And today... I wish you wouldn't. We tell you <laughs> what our favorite... Do you drink all that? Whiskeys that were available Alcohol. in 2020 are or were. Sure. some point, you're rambling, got this, us to where we need to go, I this guess. This is a list of yes. 10 bottles of whiskey. There you go. That were all available in 2020. Yeah. That we enjoy. Yes. Most Good of job. them were released in 2020. Most of them. But not all. Yeah. Sean and I each picked one bottle. I was gonna say, there's a little asterisk on there. That we that was our favorite bottle. We year. went towards what, like, what we just drank a lot of this year yeah. when we weren't doing reviews or whatever. Just the bottle that we would pull off the shelf and just drink and enjoy. Yeah. Mine's available. Sean's isn't. All right. Mine was so, very available this year. For us. Yes. So while you watch this video, yeah. take a second. It's right below. Out of this. Thumbs up. Nine and a half minute video. That is oddly That's specific. So short. You know what? Unfull screen. Just real quick. Pause. Unfull. Like. Subscribe. Going for there. Watch this. This works every time. Hey, did you guys know that there's a new sound when you hit like and subscribe? Check them out. YouTube just implemented them today. So let us say out loud so you assholes don't have to leave comments. Our opinion. So bottle number 10. Thank you. Caught it. That's for Casey Jones, you bitch. Ardbeg Weebeastie. Literally. A new addition to the line, full-time edition. Nice five year. Not limited. Sketch. And it's got red on the label, which just sets it, it off. Makes it better. Just sets it apart. This is Dan's love. I love this bottle of whiskey. It's okay. It's a nice, cheap, peated Isla. It's okay. And that's why it's so good. What sets it apart isn't the whiskey itself. It's the fact that it's the price point it lives at. It's the availability it sits at. It's the red on the bottle and the whiskey inside is also great. Sold me on it. Perfect. So we're gonna move to bottle nine. This could be a nine minute video. It was quick. Nah. Bottle nine. Dan, this is mine. Make us 46 cast break. Hey, wait, real quick. Let's take into consideration availability of the things I said and the things Sean's saying. Go ahead. It's Pretty addition. good. It's the best Maker's Mark bottle I've ever had. By far. Yeah. I, I think this blew the doors off of the SE4 that came out and I think it's way better than the RC6 sure. last year. Um, I mean, I agree with both those statements. I think it's $60 pretty available. A lot of people maybe. have it. Maybe. Don't, don't do this. Jimmy. I just said maybe. I'm not okay. disagreeing. Um, I think it's... What is your problem? <laughs> just keep going. Probably one of the better bottles in the maker's, maker's lineup as a whole. What's better? What? I didn't, I'm I, gonna I didn't say it. anything. You're real feisty tonight. Okay, it is my favorite maker's. I'll give you that 100% easily. Yeah. Favorite maker's. By far. The only reason I didn't, I wasn't sure if it belonged on this, this list was solely based on availability. Listen, I think even if you don't love makers, you could get into this I think bottle. this has the least amount of the, the makers funk that you that don't like. Really that really floral grossness. Yep. It's, so. it's still nice and sweet, mm -hmm. but you get a little bit more proof. Yeah. It's delightful. Numero 8 That was Spanish and English combined. We call that Spanglish. There you go. Not so, Creek 12. The Not Creek 15 was on our disappointment list yes. because it's with over $100. Yeah, it's expensive. It took away stock from the ultra-aged um, store picks that mm -hmm. were readily available at $50. Sure. And this was the younger brother, 12 years old, $60. Better too. Better. Literally better. We did it We did it blind and Somehow we, we better, the 12 man. more. This, okay, listen, you know what? You guys get upset because I, I weigh labels into it, but as a drinking experience, I, you gotta take label into consideration sometimes, right? 100%. Unless it's blind, there's a label on a bottle in front of me, so I'm gonna take it into consideration. And we're suckers for marketing. Yeah, so. we are. Listen, marketing's real because it actually works. That's how life is. People so, pay for it. number one, labels drastically better than their old labels. Number oh, yeah. two, for some reason, the 12, this blend sits so much better with me than the 15 does. Let people see the bottle. It's fantastic, dude. So, 100 proof. I like the 100 proof. This doesn't drink as hot. The, 100, the 15 year drank really hot. Yeah. So, bottle. 
number Siete. Personally, one of my favorite whiskeys that I found, that I found out I enjoyed this year. This is the new batch of Sagamore Spirit Double Oak Rye. You have, what was in that glass before that? What was in that glass before that? Eagle Rare. Okay, now it's a bird rye. <laughs> Cheers. So this Sagamore Spirit oh, so Double Oak, isn't it? We had the first batch and we didn't really like it. We weren't, yeah, we weren't super keen right. on it. And I pulled this out and Sean basically called me an idiot. Mm -hmm. And this is different. This is the this is the one from 2020. Okay. And it's fantastic, man. It's super good. sweet. It drinks like a like mm. a spicier bourbon more than a, like an actual a rye. Full rye, yeah. Uh, it's got that like almost toasted barrel quality mm -hmm. with that that nice little bit of rye in the back end. Yep. Like it's a little spice, but. It's just kind of like warming butterscotch it's back beautiful. there. It's nice. It is warming. It's a nice warm drink. If you don't like rye, this might be a good place to get in rye, honestly. Yeah. It's like a 50-ish dollar Super bottle sweet. too, and it's pretty damn available. So, number six. <laughs> Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel Rye Bourbon. What was that? Huh? Well, a lot of people on the other side of the fence with this, and sure. that's pretty uh, like just the way we go with Heaven Hill. Yes. We usually go against, against the grain of most people in the bourbon media yeah. sense that the batches that they really enjoy from Heaven Hill, we don't. And the batches that we love, they mm -hmm. hate. Listen, every brand has their own funk, right? Yep. So Heaven Hill's funk isn't for Peanut us butter. all the time. Now, when Heaven Hill makes a monster of a product and gets away from that funk, you get this bottle, another bottle you'll see in a few minutes on this list, yep. and stuff like the Parker's Rye. Yep. Like some of the monster bottles that come from Heaven Hill Man, don't have their I'm funk. And I love it. The last couple of years. This is so like toasted marshmallow, yes. graham cracker, just delicious. I know initially this was, a, this was a little hard to find, yeah. but it's supposed to be it's in addition up. to their line. Yeah. So you should be able to find this more often as we move forward into Hopefully this year. you like it as much as we do. It's so good. Next bottle, it's five. Sing no, well, that's not, wow. Where did I get off on this list? Is that bottle five? Feels like we've done 12 already. It's five. There's five here. Yeah, so you start at 10, um, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We'll get here together. <laughs> you got a little Chattanooga rye. Thanks to Jacob Enriquez. Because otherwise, we never would have tasted this whiskey. No. And it's it's, so good. Did he send us the other Chattanooga too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We yeah. never had Chattanooga. And yeah. he was like, I know you guys give uh, Tennessee whiskey kind of a bad rap. No, we don't. They <clears throat> do. Tennessee uh, does. He said, they actually <laughs> do make some good stuff. We're really yeah. big fans of the Chattanooga 111, the cash rate. Yes. And then we got this, and we're like, this is even better. The, this, this is amazing. It's not that expensive. No. It's from a craft distillery. You're supporting craft. It's a fantastic rye. It's got, mm -hmm. they're like the most transparent distillery of all time, too. They're up there. Mash bill, malted rye, yellow corn, caramel malted rye, and caramel malted barley. And then it tells you the fermentation, and then it tells you the cooperage, and then it tells you the filtration, then the age, then the batch size. A little bit. Who else does that? Literally no one. You know what I like that Chattanooga did? They went against the grain. They didn't. But I'm actually saying that because instead of putting green on their rye bottle, they put purple. purple. I like it. And I'm on board. I, Can I we like switch ryes to purple? Because when I drink no. things, I don't want it to be green. I don't ever want that. Uh, Chattanooga, listen, Chattanooga, you, listen, your experimental series maybe isn't always for us. That's a truthful statement. We didn't like some of those. This rye and that cast strength are monster whiskeys for being at anywhere near their age. They got real weird with it. Bro, <laughs> listen, now they'll go out on a limb. Listen, they bought a tree, <laughs> they're hitting every limb on it, all right? This whiskey <laughs> is one of the roots now, and it's I'm a big fantastic. fan. fantastic. My all gosh, right. my analogies tonight are... What? What? <laughs> These are the wrong fingers to put together. I gave you the... That's not even the shocker. Bottle number four? Yeah. Because we have four, three, and then two and one are ours. Uh, same Houston 14. This is one... Also Sean's pick. Put it in the comments below. It was everywhere. So, uh, this was a bottle that a lot of people were sleeping on. Though. Yeah, it for really real. sat on shelves. Well, nobody knew, knew what it was. No, and then it started to get more in the mainstream media of yes. like how good these were, yep. and like they just got bought up overnight. Okay, now. But I mean, Wes Yancey sent us our first bottle of this, Kentucky, which was 02. a KYO two. Yep, fantastic. These whiskeys are so good. They're sourced from Bardstown, which I yep. believe is sourced from Barton. And. What they're doing is super unique of doing True. three barrel blends for yeah. each state. So each state is different. 
Um, we've had a bunch of them. They're all really, really good. So this is not a cheap bottle. It's around 100 to $150 range. But it's really good. But it is very good. It's and like Sean said, every, almost every state got yeah. them. It's gonna be probably one of the best available-ish whiskeys I think you could have bought this year. So, bottle number three. All right, speaking of going against the grain on Heaven Hill. So technically this is our first place yeah. available of the year. Yep. Because the other two are, are like our personal favorites. How much Craig Barrel Proof? Yeah. C920. Sp for us specifically, the C920. The best one. Um, this one uh, is gonna be on our available list and probably our will the best yeah. of 2020. Yes. This was a monster bottle for us. This is one that we thought um, actually competed with Stags, if not better this year. Yeah. We'll see. Very We're well could be much better. Um, we, our favorite, like I said, was the C batch, but if you're a Heaven Hill fanatic, you generally like the B batches a lot. You probably like the, the B520 more. Um, if you like a lot of heat and pepper, you like the A batches. Now we put C here because as a placeholder, because it's our favorite, but even if you can't find this batch, all the batches at $60 are so good. This one is at least an $80 bottle minimum. Hands down. Hey, Sean picked that one too. So if you guys have a problem with availability, just put uh, the old fire Sean emoji in comment. I'm gonna stab you. So last but not least, my favorite bottle that I found this year, Sean's favorite bottle this year. Super available again. It was super hot in Michigan this year. It was Out of everything that we had, we. We had basically no allocated bourbon hit True. Michigan, it felt like. Feels that way. Super dry year for allocated bourbon, but Eagle Rare was everywhere. Yes, so for us. We just kept buying at gas stations. Literally. I just looked around, we had three open bottles for some odd reason in the hut. We don't know why. We can't tell you why, <laughs> but it's the bottle I probably reach for the most when I'm yeah. at home. Eagle Rare is a good bottle. Now listen, near and dear to my sweet beating heart. For me, so why, I gotta tell a quick story. Oh I'm gonna my. keep it short. Got Anyone that's ever watched uh, well, State of the Junkies. Oh, that's real <laughs> So, okay, real quick. Austin Hubbard sent a Redwood Empire, yeah. I think batch two, this year. Yeah. Along with a lot of other bottles. So he sent, Urban Santa Claus. He sent a Redwood Empire to us, mm -hmm. and we never had it. And I opened it and went, holy shit, this is incredible. Yeah. Come to find out it was a Burr Rye and it's finished and blah, blah, blah. So then I'm kind of on this Redwood Empire hunt. Like, I never even heard of them, mm -hmm. and now I'm in love with them. Yep. Well, then I find out those labels are discontinued. Then I find out they have a whole new line with the greatest artwork in history. Um, it's pretty good. Because of that, I see that they have new whiskeys out and then they actually come to Michigan. So my bottle is Redwood Empire's Lost Monarch, which is their Burr Eye currently. Look at the art. The artwork is incredible. The feeling, feel the texture of that. Feel it? Mm. This Lost Monarch <laughs> is such a good burr eye. It's a, it's thirty dollars at most places. Don't ever shake your stupid hand at that bottle of whiskey. This is our best list of the year. Availables. The next list will be. <laughs> the next list will be our, our favorite, like our fucking hitter list. Yeah. Cheers. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let us know what we left out down below. Let us know what your favorite whiskey that was available in 2020 was. Uh, Cheers, everybody. It's so good. Like, comment, subscribe. Or the bourbon junkie. Oh my. Poops in the pork. Dude, if you don't buy a Lost Monarch, then fuck.